and welcome to another edition of A Shave and a Song, a time where we get together and we do a little bit of shaving with a straight razor and also play a little bit of music that might bring a little bit of fun to your life. Today I'm going to be using my Dovo uh, Best Quality 6.8. It's uh, refurbished scales, scales that I put together and made. I'm uh, going to be using today somebody that I started out when I learned to shave with a straight razor, Art of Shaving, although this is a OUD. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, OUD or just OUD. Um, I started out uh, learning to shave with a straight razor with Art of Shaving Sandalwood. And so glad that I did. It made life a whole lot easier. It's a really great shave. I don't have OUD um, aftershave, so I'm going to be using some leftover sandalwood balm to complement it today. And then, of course, as always, Panad Club Man to finish it off. Love that stuff. So let's get started today. We're ready to go. Get the brush a little bit damp and then you don't need a lot of shaving cream. That might even be too much from Art of Shaving to really get a good uh, lather going. So I'm going to put that in my scuttle and just start building it up now. <clears throat> Takes just a little bit initially, but once it gets going, it really just explodes and makes a great lather. And it's a great glide on the face too, so if you've never used Art of Shaving, I'd highly recommend it. It's got a great fragrance as well. So today, I'm going to play a song from a genre that, that has a has maybe some connotations that might be a little negative once I say it. Um, I'm going to be playing a song from something known as either space rock or stoner rock. Uh, space slash stoner rock. I know. <laughs> it's music to relax by. Um, but you know, that's not really a new genre. If you've never heard of it before, you've, you, you kind of have heard music from that from that genre, even though it's not officially been called that. I would say that stoner rock has been around for a long time. I would say that several Pink Floyd albums, uh, Animals comes to mind, the side two of Metal, the 20-some minute song called Echoes, definitely stoner rock, or that might even fit into the category of space rock. And I would say, although it's kind of moving away from it, Dark Side of the Moon, I would say, would even be considered to fit into that category a little bit, a little bit, but not, it's really, it's really taken on its own, uh, its own thing since those days. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of stuff called space music, not space rock, from an old radio program. It's probably been converted over to internet program now, but back in the early 90s, maybe the late 80s, early 90s, I was listening to something called Hearts of Space, and it was a lot of what they called space music, music to relax by, and that's really what space rock, stoner rock is. It's music to relax by in whatever way you choose to relax. And uh, so I was listening to Hearts of Space way back in the late 80s, early 90s, but again, it was more like easy listening space music, where this is more space rock, if you will. Um, and so it's not quite the same, although there may be a couple of exceptions that, uh, that you might consider crossover. Anyway, today's uh, space slash stoner rock artist that I'm going to feature, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first pass, and then we'll continue on. I definitely like my best quality um, over the Bismarck. I love my, my Dovo Bismarck, really, really do, but I like the best quality a little better because it's more audible.
There we go. Okay, so today's artist from that genre, space slash stoner rock, is a band that many would would call or say might be pioneers of this style of music. They, they've been together since, uh, I think, 1992. They're Los Angeles-based. Their name is Far Flung. And if you are already familiar with this style of music, then I would say you already know who Far Flung is. They've been making albums since the 90s into the 2000s, and, and they're, I think they're still making music. They, I think their latest album was maybe two or three years ago. Uh, so they've been doing it for over 20 years. I came across this style of music completely by accident a couple of years ago. You know, music is a huge part of my life, huge part. I'm either listening to it all the time or, or I'm performing it or playing it in some way, shape or form. And at work, it's not unusual for me to pop some earbuds in and just listen to music while I work. So I was perusing YouTube, looking for some uh, compilations that people have put together, you know, music to study by, music to uh, concentrate by, music to relax by, or whatever. And, and I came across this compilation of five hours of music to relax by. So I thought, what the heck? So I put it on, and, and in the description, it was again space slash stoner rock. And it was, it was a great compliment, comp, uh, a, a great gathering of music that this person had put together. Compilation is the word I was searching for. <clears throat> and song after song really, really impressed me. And, and before I knew it, I, the day was over. I had listened to the entire five hours and, and really enjoyed it. And one of the artists that was in that grouping was the band Far Flung. And they were doing a piece called Silver Shrooms. <laughs> from their uh, 2008, I don't know why I keep wanting to say 19 on everything, 2008 album, A Wound in Eternity. And that's what I want to feature today. I really, really like this piece. I liked all the songs there, and I'm going to feature some more artists in this genre uh, in future shows. But I wanted to start out with Far Flung today because I really like this song. Because... It's one of those songs that starts out really, really slow, really uh, has a good driving beat, even from the very beginning, but, but the song starts out low intensity, and then as it goes through, it builds in intensity very slowly, until right at the very end of the song, it's reached its maximum peak, it's reached its apex, comes to an end. Um, and I, I like that, really, really good. Not, and also, I like the fact that they, uh, I'm assuming it's a Moog, M-O-O-G, that they're using. Uh, Moog has been around a long time. You can call it a, I don't know, you can call it a synthesizer, but I'd call it a wave generator, which is probably uh, one and the same thing. But they use that throughout the song, and, and I like that as well. So uh, let's introduce you to some, some uh, stoner rock slash space rock with from their 2008 album A Wound in Eternity this is far flung silver shrooms
Silver Shrooms, 2008, A Wound in Eternity album. I wonder if they were influenced by uh, Pink Floyd when they were starting out, because I, I never noticed it before until I mentioned that Pink Floyd's uh, Echoes song, Echoes, off the metal album, the way that Farflunks kind of started out reminds me of those those uh, little synth sounds, those little droplet sounds uh, that Pink Floyd started out with on Echoes. Oh, got a little, little bit there. I love how the guitar in the very beginning sets that driving force that never goes away as soon as the drums kick in. And then, love that Moog. Now, what I would recommend is that you check out the band. I'm going to put a link to their... Uh, I know they got a Facebook site. I don't know if they have a website or not, but I'll put a link to their Facebook site. But check, out, check them out. They've got a, they've got a lot of albums out, and uh, they're, all the music that I've listened to from them, I've liked. Good discovery. Good discovery. Don't let the name fool you. You know, don't let it don't let it off put you. It's just music. 
But I would recommend that not only do you go and check them out, listen to some more of their stuff. Uh, I know you can you can get at least this particular album, and I think most all the others you can get on Amazon.com as well. Um, and uh, you can buy them individually. I think this Silver Shrooms you can pick up for about 99 cents. Great piece of music. I like it. I've got it. All right, going to finish up with some Art of Shaving Sandalwood after the OUD. It, but uh, listen to it with, and then I'm sure they say this with all, with all stuff like this, even back in the Pink Floyd days, you got to listen to it with headphones on or earbuds in. There's a lot of little nuances that you miss when you're listening to it through a uh, speaker, you know, an external speaker. But if you plug in your headphones or put your earbuds in and you just listen to it, the song just really opens up and you catch a lot of little things in there that you wouldn't normally hear. Or at least I did. So that's what I would do. I would, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that you go back and listen to it with some, some earbuds or headphones on. You'll like it. Well, there you go. Introduction to the genre known as space rock or stoner rock. I hope you liked it. Uh, that's our shave for today. Got a good shave. Got a little nick there, but yeah, you know what? That happens every now and then. That's called life. Uh, so go out and check out uh, Far Flown. Check out some other artists as well. Uh, I'll be featuring some other artists in this genre uh, in the coming weeks as we go on because I discovered a whole bunch of them uh, that day when I was listening, and I've been continuing to listen to them as the years progress. So I'll, I'll bring them out, and uh, and we'll have some have some fun with this one. So in the meantime, live life, everybody. Enjoy your day, and happy shaving.